So as I said, we are really thrilled to be able to welcome for the first time so almost all of our filmmakers. We've heard some of the amazing stories that come with your films. Um, Jim mentioned last night that he sold his wedding rings when his marriage broke up to get his film made. Is that did you you didn't make make that up in a drunken moment in my kitchen, right? No, no. Uh, Jim made Thunder Road, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had raised like half of the budget of the movie and then realized that I wasn't going to be able to fund the rest of it at, like two weeks out. And uh, I had my wedding rings lying around and uh, I sold them. I would like walked around the jewelry district in downtown LA and like it was really sad. I mean, like it was a really like r weird experience to like pawn them off to make a movie, but it worked out clearly. <laughs> <laughs> We don't talk about it that much, like um, going to festivals and all that. That's an expense, you know? Um, sometimes some festivals help us go there, but as short <clears throat> filmmakers, <clears throat> yes, you guys did. Thank you. Yes, they did, <laughs> which is like an anomaly. Hi, I'm Megan at Baxiadora, and um, it was way more expensive than it should have been only because uh, I shot it in Cuba before we were friends with Cuba, and so I couldn't rent any of the equipment because no one would l allow you to take it to Cuba at that time. So I had to buy everything myself. And so it cost about uh, $20,000 all in, which um, I, I, it probably would have been half that if I could just rent the equipment, but at that time I couldn't. But speaking of you guys paying, I was actually overseas sh shooting my current project, and um, again, I'm a documentary filmmaker, so we don't really have big budgets. And I, my character last minute qualified for Olympics, and I only had enough money to buy a one-way ticket. So them paying for us to like come here actually got me back to the States. Otherwise, I would still be overseas kind of stranded. So thanks for doing wow. that. Wow. <laughs> Learn something every day. You're welcome. Welcome home. <laughs> we were working. 19-hour uh, days for months on end, like it was crazy. <laughs> you, it's funny because it's just it's a, it's like an eight-minute film. How long is it? It's, it's five. Five minutes. Yeah, it's like it, it's five. so much work goes into five minutes, though, right? It's yeah, yeah. It's all hand painted and all hand drawn, so um, it's just a lot of pieces of paper. It's like a big box of like. It almost all got burnt up. There was a fire in my apartment, and I was working out of my apartment at the time, and there was, there was a fire on the lower floor, and the first thing I picked up was the box of animation. I was like, no, not this, <laughs> like the one thing, forgetting my passport, and <laughs> like all the more important things. Yeah.